Hello everybody and a very good afternoon. Good morning, welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us this Thursday as we get ready for Easter, all the celebrations which are to come over the course of this bank holiday weekend. Oh, we're having a great day today. We are having a bit of a laugh. If you saw Wake Up Call earlier on, uh, you'll know that we're being a little bit silly. Uh, and thank you, by the way, for everyone who's taken pictures and screen grabbed and put them up all over uh, Facebook over the course of the uh, day today. You know who you are, uh, but no, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, we have just kicked off a triple points event. Um, it actually says today, I didn't realize, it's um, Ben's triple points, so you're welcome, everybody. Yes, of course, it was all me that put all of that together. I'll take all of the credit for that. But it's triple points uh, right across the day today and indeed right throughout the weekend into Monday. So we continue up until the end of Bank Holiday Monday midnight. Uh, triple points on everything, not just on the shows, but right across the website as well. So it's a great opportunity to shop. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're celebrating this weekend. Maybe you're going to get a bit of money for, for Easter and you're looking for something to, uh, to shop for plenty on the website just worth bearing in mind today as well after this amazing show we do have another amazing show with our um uh, cart load which is going to be just off the chart triple points deals like you've never seen time limited deals buy one get threes three pound deals last minute deals they're all there hit the shop the show button to see all of those deals uh, and we've got a full show coming up for you at six tonight right now we are doing an award-winning show one of our amazing uh, craft alongs if you've not seen these before we basically are going to tackle a project over the course of the next couple of hours and uh, Craig who is leading it today will be doing it in real time so it's a great opportunity for you if you've got the particular collection that we're working with to craft along live with us if you have already got the collection but can't craft along live now you can watch this show back later and do it in real time and if you like the look of this uh, craft along and you haven't got what we're crafting with we can bring it to you over the course of this show um, as we said we do it in real time if you are crafting with us get in touch say hello let us know that you're doing it and then hopefully towards the end of the show uh, we can put together a little bit of a picture gallery so you can see what your mate looks like so as i said it is me it is also my crafty bestie uh, who is leading this amazing craft along and it's all to do craig with our color your world collection it is indeed, it absolutely is so this is as ben says we're just going to be crafting along in real time if you're new to us, this is where uh, when a collection launch, you know, between four to six weeks after that collection launches, one of us on the team come along and we do exactly that, that craft along within real time. What I always like to point out as well it is predominantly always using the full bundle that launched at that time. So what I mean by that is I am going to use the pattern paper and the cardstock that came with the original Colour Your World. However, if you don't have that, if you've maybe only got bits of it, then you can be using other cardstock that you've got at home. No problem. So many actually replicate exactly what I'm doing, some of you change it up, it's entirely up to you. But if you are wanting to craft along and make exactly what I'm going to be making, this is what we are going to be making. Beautiful. So I gave you a little bit of a tease within Wake Up Call when it came to the double front stepper, but we've gone in for a front stepper on this one here. And we're going to do some blending, we're going to use the stencils, we're going to use the embossing folders. With those stencils we're going to do some die cutting, we're going to colour in some rainbows and we'll do some sentiment stamping as well to create a little bit of a dimension. With this one, Ben, it's it's no secret, my past craft alongs can be time consuming and there could be a lot of steps. And, you know, this is, I just thought, I'm gonna rein it back in with this one here because you could easily expand that onto an A5 cardstock or an eight by eight if you want to. But I thought, it's color your world, it's color, it's bright, let's just relax, chill out. You know, we're going into Easter weekend and this is what we are going to do. Now, when it comes to actually making it, and if you want to make exactly what I'm going to do, yep. you are going to need the following items that are just coming up on your screen right now. Now, you're going to need your Colour Your World Ray of Sunshine 3D embossing folder and stencils, Look for the Rainbow Die Set, Bubble and Balloon Stencil Set, the 12 by 12 paper pad and the A4 linen cardstock. Then you're going to need your Dance and Dragonfly Sentiment Dream stamp set. You're going to need some all-purpose glue, you're going to need some tacky glue, you're going to need some 3D glue gel, as well as your Gemini Junior. Then you're also going to be needing your alcohol-proof ink pad. I've put their flagstone, but it could be noir black if you want to. Water reactive inks, I'm going to use orange, oasis, lemon tonic, crushed velvet, and then the multi-purpose cardstock, watercolour cardstock, 
Nina Cardstock, your blending tools for your water reactive and also a stamping platform. So that's everything plus your additional items which is your tri-blends, dark red blend, gold yellow, ice blue, lavender, light green, orange, purple, tape runner, red liner tape and some ribbon. So just to say within those selection of adhesives you might not necessarily need them all I just thought this time what I'll do is I'll put all the kind of main adhesives on that list and then you can cherry pick as to which one you're going to be using but that's everything that you need if you wish to actually make exactly what I'm going to be making as well. The only thing that was actually not on that list is some ribbon for along the bottom. Should you choose to put some ribbon then that's all that you're going to need kind of wish that I got all the bits and pieces together now to do it but never mind I, I like to concentrate when we have a guest on a craft along I like to have my full attention on that guest so that's the reason not for wet next time we do a craft along because I know what people are going to say why are you doing it next time we have a craft along we don't have a guest I will craft along uh, but who's with us uh, today we've got Rachel on the socials uh, Nancy Peterson says good morning from Jacksonville Florida uh, Kathy Evans is in from Noonan in Georgia uh, Deborah Blanchard joins us from Lillington uh, NC North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, ben McCarthy's in. Hello, Hello ben. ben. Hello, Ben. I'm sure he just watches because of me. He got watches because of you. Because of me. Yeah. I'm sure that's probably what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It will be. Definitely. Um, it, oh, forgive, oh, forgive me, Ben. Because um, it was their daughter's birthday yesterday. Yes. It was, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Alice, yes. Alice. Alice's birthday. So a great <clears throat> big happy birthday to Alice. Happy birthday, Alice, for yesterday. Uh, Brenda Blackless says, good afternoon from Saxelby. Um, hi to Kathy Myers from Missouri. Corinne says, aloha and good early morning from Maui. Oh, wow, oh, wow. to be in Maui. Wowie Maui. Uh, Donna says, good morning from Vero Beach, Florida. Uh, it's my day off, so I'm excited to watch. I usually have you all on in the background when I'm at work. Nice that we're in the mm -hmm. foreground today. Lois is in from Ohio. Kathy's in from Central Illinois, uh, saying hoppy Easter. Uh, Vanessa Fuentes joins us from Florida. Uh, lovely to have you all with us. Let us know if you're crafting along. Uh, we do have though, a very special guest who is joining us uh, in the VIP seats today. Um, I'm delighted to say that we're joined by the lovely Tracy Madden. How are you, Tracy? Hello. Well, thank you. Excellent stuff. Where do we find you today? Whereabouts are you? Well, I'm in Georgia and I'm well, I'm close to me, but I actually class it as Wakefield. Ah, Wakefield. Okie dokie. Um, and is this your first craft along? Yes, it's my first ever live craft along. Right, okay. Uh, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Are you nervous? What's the overall yeah, emotion? I'm excited. I do quite a lot of lives anyway because I teach. Um, so I'm fine, I'm excited, and I'm just looking forward to it. Oh, amazing. Well, it's so lovely to have you with us. I must just say, um, I know you were prepping with the guys before the show. You were chatting to Charlotte, getting you all set up. Um, I happened just to quickly pop into the gallery. Uh, is your furry friend still with you that was uh, on your craft desk before? Yeah, she's here somewhere. She, I think she's behind my chair. Ah, oh, it's a cat, yeah, by the way. may jump up on the table and say hello. Uh, what's her name? Heidi. Heidi. All right. Well, uh, at any point, if we see Heidi, I'll definitely ask the guys to come back so we can, uh, we can say hello to your uh, cat. Um, have you got everything you need? And you, are you ready to get started? Absolutely. I've got everything I need and I'm all sorted. Excellent stuff. If at any point uh, you do need to ask a question or need to create to repeat anything, just give us a wave and uh, Johnny and Charlotte will um, put you through at the studio and we'll, we'll get that asked. But um, have fun with yes. us, won't you? Thank you. Yes, I definitely have. All right, Thanks. so Tracy's ready, Heidi the cat's ready, uh, you guys at home are hopefully ready as well. Do let us know in the comments if you plan on crafting along. Are you ready? Uh, of course I'm ready, yeah. Can I actually, before actually we go any further, oh, right, go. Yeah. can I just say a big thank you here? Let me just get rid of my Greg sausage rolls I'm having for my tea Ooh. tonight. Craig. Two. You got a parcel in the bag. I got a parcel. So Christine, Christine Adrians, thank you so, so much. I have put a little thank you on my Instagram and I have tagged you. You know, I love my Yankee candles. My favourite is Bahama Breeze that you can't get in the UK anymore. Yeah. Christine, you have got a heart of gold. You have sent me these four wow. Yankee candles all the way from USA. 
Bahama Breeze. It's their brand new packaging, their soya candles. I cannot thank you enough. The the cost that would have gone into that, the thought that's gone into that, I, I, I love you a bit. Thank you so much for thinking of me and sending them all the way. They will absolutely, I got your note, they will be treasured. I appreciate it so much. And they absolutely, I'm telling you, the whole the team have been smelling these ones. It is so tropical. Do the lid. You always smell the lid. Do you? Yeah. Oh, is that yep. like when you smell the wine? Because when, when the actual wax goes in and the heat and the fragrance mm -hmm. bounce up to the lead, that's where you're going to get all the tones. Quite, isn't it? It's like being on holiday. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely incredible. How generous and sweet so, is that? So, so, do you know something? That we all get sent so many lovely things from all of you at home and we mm. appreciate every single one of them. But with all of these ones, because they're my favourite, mm. my favourite scent that you can't get anymore here in the UK. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it so much. Was, was there a parcel for me or is it just... No. Is it just, is it coming later or...? No. They, to be honest, we were sitting having our lunch and Nicola brought the parcel through from reception and you were all like, oh, what have you been ordering now? And I'm sitting there going, no, I don't think you guys so, quite believe me, so did just, you? So you obviously mentioned how much you love Yankee Candles, so one of our lovely viewers has taken it upon themselves to, to give you a little bit of a treat, which mm -hmm. is amazing. It really is. I love, I love $50 notes. I absolutely <laughs> I love, I love those in big piles. Just, mm, amazing. <laughs> yeah, just 50, like? hundreds as well. Oh, just, oh, yes. That, it was, it, it's so <laughs> kind. And do you know, so whether you, and, and I know that was, um, you know, the, the cost of that would have been quite a lot. You know, whether it's a cost, even, you know, when you just send little gifts, a little note, a little card, it means the absolute world to all of us. We really, really do. When we walk into our green room and we see the little gifts or cards or that, it means the absolute world. So thank you Can I you say so as well, much. before you, before you, well, sorry, I, <laughs> Tracy's probably just like, get on with it. <laughs> Can I just say a massive thank you to our Nicola as well, who bought me uh, an Easter egg today. Because I mentioned yesterday that um, my wife has never bought me an Easter egg in the 22 years we've been together. I said how much I like mini eggs. So um, our Nicola bought me a mini egg Easter egg, complete with a mini egg mug in there as well. So. We've both got presents today. We've both got presents. We're both yeah. very lucky. We're very, very yeah. are. I get to burn and uh, enjoy the aroma of mine, and you get to crunch and just and enjoy, enjoy the, the aroma, aroma of yours. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Right. Let's go. Let's dive straight in. <gasps> oh, hang on, Cat hang watch. on, quick before we start. Catwatch. Catwatch. Heidi. Yay. Oh, she's, she's up on your shoulders. How old oh, is she? Oh wow. She's gonna be two now in April. Oh, so she's a little baby. Does she um does she like to get up when you sort of get into your craft and does she sort of jump yeah, up when you start? She's it? very much of she needs to be on the piece of paper that I'm <laughs> doing my crafts on. That is brilliant. Typical cat that, isn't it, really? I was saying to Johnny, yeah. uh, I, I, when I saw the um, the image of her earlier, I just absolutely loved her because she, she reminds me of um, our cat that she used to have, same sort of markings. She's a beautiful tortoiseshell and, uh, yeah. Is she going to sit there for the rest of the craft along, you think? Yeah, that she'll probably sit down there and lay down and fall asleep. Amazing. That's good stuff. There we go. Right, well, let's get started. We've seen the cat. We've seen uh, lovely Tracy. We've talked chocolate. We've talked candles. Already 20 minutes into the show. We better start crafting. We better. Yeah. We better get a kickstart on that one, <laughs> eh? Right, let's take uh, our... We will need our guillotine, and then we'll also need our uh, white multi-purpose cardstock. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to cut that to five inches. So we're going to go with that shorter edge up along the top. So we're going to cut that to five inches and then we're going to turn that around to 11 and a half. So that is five inches by 11 and a half inches. And then what we can then do is let's take another piece here. So we're then going to cut this one to five by seven. Mm -hmm. So once again, so that was this piece was five by seven, and then this piece here was five by eleven and a half. So we can move that one out of the way for now. And then I'm going to go in with my scoreboard. Now you can do this with any of your scoreboards. It does make it a lot easier if you use your big scoreboard. And then what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up to my left hand side, which is the box lid side essentially. Now when you're doing any scoring, always go up to the box, box lid side, the left hand side, because that is your true measurement. So I'm going to score at half an inch. Yeah. So lightly and a few times. 
and then I'm going to score at seven and a half and then lightly and a few times and then we're going to go in at nine and a half so lightly and a few times and then that will then take us to eleven and a half right at the end so that was scoring at half an inch we're then scoring at seven and a half inches we're then scoring at nine and a half inches and then that takes us to our eleven and a half so we can take that one out of the way so what we're then just going to do is let's then do our fold so we're going to fold our tab back on itself and then let's take our bone folder now of course I could be using my actual scoring tool but let's just go in with my bone folder and give it a good burnish and then so that is so if I go this way so that is a mountain fold because we're going in like a peak of a mountain yeah. then this bottom one is going to be a valley because it's like a valley fold so that's going to go back on itself and then this next one is a mountain it's going back on itself so that's giving you your mountain and valleys so we can then go in and give that one a burnish and then give that one a burnish now you can use at this point your choice of adhesive what I'm going to do Ben is anything you know we're known by now I love when it comes to construction or card making I like to use my tacky glue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that over the back so taking that five by seven piece that you had I'm going to then go in with my tacky glue and I'm just going to add that along the top there and then we're going to go we're just going to slide that one right up because if you were to take that tab off there, that is essentially five by seven, which yeah. is the size. So that's where it's giving you your card blank. So we can just fold that one over. I'm going to turn that on itself, and then let's give that a little bit of a pressure. And that's how you're going to do your uh, front stepper card without having to use any larger card stock. So if you've got your A4 or your letter size, then it's a nice way to create yours and then if I then just go into the front there there is our stepper card that's done ready to go and then still you know once you take into account the layers relatively flat yeah so that is the first bit for your actual front of your card so I'm just going to set that to the side for now and then what we can start to do is we can then start to take our layers so I'm going to go in with watercolor card because the blending that we're going to do on the background bend, you can do on your multi-purpose if you want to, but with the watercolour card, I like that bit of a texture to it. Mm. It's a bit of a hammer texture. So that's why I like to use the watercolour card for the blending. We're not doing any full bleaching or spritzing or anything like that. That's what I mean by you can absolutely use your, your multi-purpose card. But for this, I'm going in with my watercolour card and I'm going to cut this one to four and a half inches by six and a half so that was watercolor card four and a half inches by six and a half inches and then we're going to do a little blending in a moment but what I'm going to do just now is let's go in with a layer of that purple cardstock so this is the purple linen that was from the original original color your world yeah but you could use any card or the good thing with this one as well certainly with this this uh, craft along in this collection you literally can use any color you want yeah you know you can change it compared um, to what I'm doing just after you've done the cutting or whenever's um uh, easiest for you. Lynn's just said, um, I'm so slow. You're fine, Lynn. You're absolutely fine. Yeah. said, I was still cutting and I missed those scoring measurements. So can you recap of course in I a can. minute? No Don't problem. Don't worry, Lynn. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, what we'll do <clears throat> is I'll do this cut here and then that's a nice little pause section and I'll go over the measurements. Nice. So with your purple cardstock, what we're going to do is essentially we're cutting it a quarter of an inch bigger. So we're going to go four and three quarters by six and three quarters up to the six and three quarter mark and then we've got our matting layer that you can see here so you've got that perfect matting layer which will then essentially later on ah. matting layer onto that back panel here yeah so let me move that one out the way let's sit that one to, out the way because we'll do a little bit inking in a minute but let's show you those measurements once again so what we have got so what I'll do is very briefly, let's go right back to the start. So we, we cut a piece of cardstock bed that was five inches by 11 and a half. Yeah. And then for that length there, what we done is we scored, if I bring in my scoreboard, 
So this was your 11 and a half by five inches. So we scored at half an inch. We then scored at seven and a half inches. We then scored at nine and a half inches, which then took us already to the 11 and a half. And then all that we'd done was that tab, that half inch tab, we've just folded that over and we've attached that onto a piece of cardstock that's five by seven. Okay. So hopefully that's helped. If not, you need me to recap again, then um, we can do that, yep. no problem at all. So what I'm then going to do is let's go in with our watercolour cardstock. So we're going to go in with our crushed velvet. We're going to go in with our lemon tonic. Let's go in with our oasis. And then we're going to go in with uh, our orange. Now what I like to do, I'm just wondering, Charlotte, could we zoom out just a little bit, just to see the top of the glass, or even just for a minute, just so you can see what I'm away to do. With my ink pads, Ben, what I like to do, certainly water reactive, I like to sit them up against the leading edge on my glass mat. All right. Because when it comes to my blending tool, if I get my foam, I need to get some foam for these ones. So if I go on and I then go on, it's, it's, I have to hold, now it's not a big deal to hold it, but of course if you're wanting to do something or hold something else down, your uh, ink pad's skating all over the place. Yeah, good shout. Whereas if you go up against your glass mat, I can then pull. So I could be holding my car stock, getting something ready, leading up the actual blending that's pad idea, that. with the ink, and that's how I like. So sometimes if it's just off camera and you're wondering what I'm doing with my ink pads, that's what I do, I just like to line them up along the top. So that was just something I just wanted to show there. Simple idea, but very handy. Very, very handy. It mm. really, really is. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in. So let's start. Let's actually start with the... Let's go in with the purple, actually. And I always like to take an excess off my glass mat. And then I'm just going to come onto my card. Yeah. And I'm just going to blend that on. Do you normally use the square ones as opposed to circular, or do you not have a preference? Uh, square ones are my favourite. Right. Yeah, they are my favourite. As I do always say, though, it is personal preference. You know, the square doesn't do one and the circle no. do another. They do exactly the same. Your rectangle, you know, the rectangle, yeah, but, you know, they're, they're called square. square. They will cover a slightly bigger surface. Mm -hmm. Some people will find that they still maybe get like a little harsh line when it comes to the square blending tools. Although our water reactive, in my opinion, you know, and I'm not just saying it because I work for the company, but the water reactive have been incredible that if you do get a harsh line, it blends out just beautifully. Yeah. Whereas some people will find that uh, they, they don't get that with a circle blending tool because you've not actually got an edge, so to speak. I know obviously a circle is round, but there's not a square edge for use that sometimes potentially yeah. get a harsh line with. So I'm going in with the purple on this one. So that one was your crushed velvet. And then I'm going to go in with the Chinese red. And then once again, I'm just going to start off. I'm going to then go in straight on. That was odd. I would, do you know something? I was just thinking to myself, I've not given myself Chinese red. It's because it's orange. Oh, uh, okay. Orange, and then you'll get a red when you start to mix it with the purple. Mm. So let's go in with the orange. And then what I'm doing is I'm just starting to blend them ones in together. So going back in. And then the other good tip with them as well is to keep it completely flat. I know beforehand, certainly when I started crafting, a lot of the times what we were taught, Ben, is to go on an angle on your glass mat and then start to have that leading edge. And for me, that's what could sometimes cause yeah. the harsh lines. Okay. So if you give your applicator, blending tool, a really nice coverage of ink and then just go flat on, keep it nice and flat and then just blend. I don't always use the handle. No. A lot of the time, I actually use the actual cube uh, block okay. itself. And you have a different a different uh, head for every different colour. I do. Do you have a different head for every... Because obviously, we've got the same colours within the different mediums, like the water reactive and the quick dry and the pigment. Yeah. Do you have a different head for every single one, or do you share no. colours? So the only ink pad range that I have a foam head for yeah. each one is water reactive. Yeah. 
and I have shown it in the past but what I actually do Ben is I've got the uh, the harsh side of a velcro dot yeah and I stick that onto that side and then I'll take my blending pad off stick it underneath Great and then idea. that sits on my spectrum no art trays mm. so I do that with water reactive I don't have any for my pigment ink pads because predominantly I use the finger daubers for them and I don't have any for quick dry because quick dry is not really for doing your blending. Yeah. Just to say, I don't have a blending tool for every single colour. I've got about 12 blending tools. It's the foam that I've got for every colour. Right. So uh, that's a nice, inexpensive way to have a foam colour. Of course, you know, you can use that one foam for all three yellows or one for all three purples if you want to. That's entirely up to yourself. But yeah, I have a separate foam head for each one. Kathy's just asking, what is the card that you're blending on right now? So this one that I'm blending on right now is watercolour card. Yep. And I'm doing that solely so that I can get the texture on here. Mm. I'm not going on, I'm not spritzing any water or I'm doing any water techniques, nothing like that. I'm simply going on and applying the ink so that I can get that lay down of colour and I'm going to get that texture. So therefore, because I'm not adding anything water-based to it, if you wanted to do this on your multi-purpose cardstock, you can do, yeah. no problem. I'm purely doing it so that I can then get a texture feel to it. So let's just go in now with our lemon tonic and once again just crossing over with that one. And then I'm going to end now with the Oasis. But what you need to keep in mind is the oils in your finger bin. Oh, yes. Because it's water-based. Mm. So the oils or sweat or that from your fingers, what will happen if I put my hands on there, I'm going to be left with fingerprints. fingerprints yeah. So I've just grabbed a piece of craft card here. It could be the most inexpensive paper. It could be a, a bill that you're going to shred. It could be an old envelope. It could be anything. All that you want to do is protect that surface so that you're not getting any fingerprints on. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Oasis. Let me line that one up that little bit better. And then I'm going to blend that one in. So once again, just lay that Oasis colour down and then laying it up onto my blending tool. And don't worry about this harshness at the moment because what we can do is we can just go back into that lemon tonic and then blend it out. And the blendability with these ones, and this is me that's used many, many water reactive based ink pads over the years. Yeah. And I'm not going to say that there's not some incredible ones out there because there is. You know, I'm not going to say that Tim Holtz Ranger ink pads don't do a job because they are incredible. They really mm. are. However, I go on my own experience and I was just sold on them as soon as I bought them. And it was, I bought all of mine before I joined Crafter's Companion. Yeah. And I've never, ever looked back. So let's just start to blend that one in to finish off. And then while I'm on this one, which has just got a light tone, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go back on itself and then just start to blend those That's incredible four together. palette of colours you've created there. It's really nice. And if you wanted to really go down that rainbow route, you know, and sing the song and use all the colours you can do, but as you can see here, even just picking out four, Lemon Tonic, Orange, Oasis and Crushed Velvet, it's a nice four to just be using. And then all that I'm doing is I'm just going back on itself, nothing specific, just using that blending tool to blend over the top. That's all that I'm going to do with that one, which then down the line within the craft along, yeah. that can get layered over the top. And then that will then be going onto there. So I think, do you want to take a little bit of a break at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good opportunity for you as well, if you are crafting along at home, to ask any questions, uh, to fire any comments our way. Uh, Stephen says, my yodel delivery just arrived. That's fairly quick, isn't it? Because I think when you messaged us in Wake Up Call, right. you were 32 stops away, I, I saw. So that's decent. Um, what did you get? What was in it, Stephen? Let us know. Uh, I think as far as questions are concerned, we are pretty good so far. So I just show you the deal of what you're going to get, and then we'll uh, pop in and see how Tracy and Heidi are getting on. Um, but we um, we 
don't have the full collection, obviously, but we've got a selection of the collection. Um, it's the 12 die, seven stamps, six stencils, and embossing folders that you're going to get for a cracking price today. Don't forget, we've got triple points on everything, too. I must just stress that. It's not just on the cartload chart. I know it's like a cartload all about the threes tonight, but it's triple points. If you buy this deal today as well, you will get triple points on that price on your screen, and you do get so many uh, fantastic items within this set. Stencils, those beautiful uh, balloons and um, the beautiful bubbles you're gonna get in here too. Um, and again, just using some of those colors which Craig has been using, uh, you can create some fantastic designs with these. And again, stencils, great starting points uh, for projects for your cards. Um, by the way, if you do want a lovely selection of colors, we have also, uh, if you shop the show, pop together a little uh, range of the, I think it's the water reactives actually, in colors that we think will work beautifully with this set you've got that stunning floral rainbow which is your uh, creator card I mean how gorgeous is that uh, perfect for this time of the year mixing it in here with some of your beautiful linen card stock um, maybe doing a bit of paper piecing a bit of coloring with this uh, if you just want that beautiful frame to pop elsewhere on a project you can this is the uh, embossing folder and stencil set which you're going to be seeing uh, within this beautiful demo again how gorgeous that embossing folder giving you that glorious sunrise scene but then of course it makes it really easy for you to add more of the detail here and the fact that you've got the stencil or stencils I should say to be able to add to that beautiful emboss uh, then you've got those uh, slightly smaller stencils in here too so really happy really really joyous collection this with hearts in here you've got beautiful butterflies in here as well I think one of the most beautiful butterfly stencils uh, that potentially that we've done within a collection and this embossing folder with the hearts on this is called your rainbow hearts quite simply is beautiful it is a smile within an embossing folder right there all the colors of the rainbow uh, just cascading across that embossing folder looks fantastic you've got butterflies in here too in die form with that pretty kaleidoscope two dies there you've got your background die here which you can layer up uh, that uh, detail die on top and those butterfly wings again just pop out uh, creating that really gorgeous 3d effect and then you've got your stamps and dies in here too uh, this one is called dancing in the rain those stamps there with that beautiful rainbow clouds the little raindrops and the little girl under the brolly there and then you've got uh, this set here which is called look for rainbows where you can uh, use all of your cardstock to build your own umbrellas create your rainbows got the gorgeous uh, little clouds in there and even uh, the super cute little um, raindrops as well which are just there it's such a wonderful collection i knew as soon as i saw this when we uh, previewed this on the hsm preview show this month i knew that you would absolutely snap this up and you did thankfully we do have this selection still available for you um, so get it today it wasn't triple points last time you saw it uh, but it is today so 43 pounds 20 55 dollars 20 if you're shopping in the us and your platinum a uh, few questions coming through uh, which we will do you want to do this now or should we quickly say hello to tracy let's just quickly see how um tracy is getting on how's it going so far tracy are you all up to speed is there anything you want to ask craig yes. wow to speed all up to speed, fantastic stuff. Um, when you said, you know, mentioned earlier on about your uh, this being your first live craft along, um, how many of the other craft alongs have you, have you done in the past and which ones have you done out of interest, if you can remember? Uh, probably about two that I've done the Debbie one with the Roaring Twenties, but oh, I did yes. it with the Dragonfly yeah. collection. And um, I did the one last year, which I did the other day, with the 3D uh, builder scenes. Oh, builder scenes. Yes. Oh, fantastic stuff. And what is your, what is your favorite style of crafting? What, what do you turn to? Are you a die cutter? Are you a colorist? What's your favorite thing? Uh, yeah, so that I'm quite new to crafting. I bought my Gemini last year this time, and um, I've been dabbling in it for some time. And I've just like realized it's such a lovely, meditative, relaxing mm. thing to do. And I just love it. And I love Crafter's Companion. It's such a little community and family that you can talk to people and get to know people. And I just love the presenters and 
the experts and everything. Oh, it's so lovely to hear. Do you know what? You sum it up so brilliantly. I think that's why we all enjoy coming to work every day because it's, it's, it's such a fun place to be. There's loads of inspiration. And like you said, I mean, even though I don't know, you might have done, but you tend to obviously just chat to people digitally, but you, you do feel like you're part of a, a family because you, know, you see the same names, you see the same people, and I, I guess you chat along to them as well, Tracy. Absolutely, I do. And like it, it kind of feels weird because y you don't know me, but I know you. And like we laugh at your jokes and like it, it's like almost getting to know you on a personal level. Yeah, absolutely. And you'd be surprised, actually, Tracy. I know you guys a lot better than you think I do. I see the comments. I know what goes on. You think we don't know, <laughs> but we do. Oh, it was so lovely to hear those great comments from you. And um, lovely that you've, you've found us, you enjoy being with us. And we are absolutely enjoying your company uh, so far today. And I uh, can't wait to see what you create. We'll come back to you very shortly. Um, I do just want to fire a few questions at you, Craig, if I can. Of course you can. Um, Corinne Heaton says, uh, Craig, what ink did you say is the best for blendability, she's wondering? What reactive? Yeah. What reactive? It's always the one that I say, if you never know what one to start with, you know, maybe you're going to invest in ink pads, what reactive are the most versatile, in my opinion, in a lot of people? So, yeah, if you want that blendability, go for your what reactive. Um, and I guess, Lillian, you might just need some thinner dots here, but Lillian, so um, she's talking about, you know, you stick your pads under the bottom of your mm -hmm. ink pads. She says, I tried that the other day, uh, but the pad sticks out, though, she says. Right, yeah, you'll probably just need, yeah, yeah, exactly, as Ben said, maybe just uh, thinner dots. Mine, when they sit on the tray, they, they do sit ever so slightly at a little bit of a, a wonk, but they still sit in the tray, no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, you can do that for sure. Yep, definitely. Mmm. Sorry. Yeah, what is it? Microwave Producer yeah. Nicola has just brought can in... Can I try? I know I'm not a fan of milk chocolate, but... Microwavable mini eggs. Oh, by the way, can you just can we just show it to the camera? Because um, earlier on, Evelyn was asking. That's hot. Evelyn was asking, "What is a mini egg?" Try that. Microwavable mini eggs. Bite into it. You have to bite into it. It's not. It's not really hot. Oh. Mm. Oh, I can imagine that. I can <laughs> imagine that. Not. But the uh, milky bar eggs, mm. the white chocolate mm. ones. It's got that crunchy shell. Mm. Can you just um, just do a little close up for Because um, Evelyn was wondering earlier, what does a mini egg look like? Uh, there. This is difficult. Yeah, I just. <laughs> I've got, I've got about asbestos off. hands. <laughs> <laughs> They're mini eggs there. I've never put them in the microwave before. 50 seconds. 50 seconds in the microwave. How did you know how to do that? TikTok. Oh, is it top? Yeah. Mm, TikTok, you um, learn a lot on TikTok. You do. Mm -hmm. Excellent stuff. So, crafting with um, mini eggs. Mini eggs. Mm. We're um, we're back together Monday, Tuesday, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. We we'll have we've we'll, we'll, we've gone over Tuesday, not Monday yet. Oh okay. Yeah. I saw my email then. Yeah, I did see your email. <laughs> uh, and in case you're wondering, what on earth are staff doing microwaving mini eggs? Uh, are they supposed to be working? It's nearly Easter. I don't think there's any management in today, so it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. You wait now. The phone. This is when you hear the phone <laughs> in the gallery. <laughs> what on earth's going on in there? No, they're very good management. Very good. <laughs> they're probably microwaving <laughs> their mini eggs, to be fair, as well. Uh, they're home. not across in Spain, they're mini in microwaves. <laughs> mini in, mini in microwaves. <laughs> microwaving mini eggs. <laughs> uh, right, uh, what are we doing now? I'm totally lost the plot here. We're having uh, a break, carry on. And uh, we've done the questions, Johnny. Oh, we're going back. To, sorry, I thought you said there was a break. There's me going, on. we'll have a break. No, we're not having a break. We're no, going back to the craft do. Right here. So. Let's go back into another piece of our watercolour cardstock. So if we get our watercolour cardstock, <laughs> what we're going to then do is we're going to come along and we're going to cut this one here to <laughs> one and a half inches. So I'm going to come along to the one and a half inches. And then we're going to cut to four and a half. So that's one and a half by four and a half, mm -hmm. because that will then mat and layer onto the front here. So, of course, we need to have our purple matte and layer for that one. So that's going to be a quarter of an inch bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that one to one and three quarters, uh, like here, to four and three quarters. 
here. So one and three quarters by four and three quarters. That then gives us our matting layer for that front panel. So we need to come back in with our inks because we're going to come back with that one in a minute and use our bubbles stencil. Bubbles. But what we need to do, bubbles. We need to add our ink, of course, to the front. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to go in with the, probably just use the three this time because it's just a smaller piece. So I'll probably just use the orange, the oasis and the crushed velvet. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is let's just, in actual fact, no, I'll probably just, I'll probably just use the two. So we're just going to go in with our oasis. So I'm going to go in from one side, keeping it simple. And then what we can then do is just flip that around and then we can do the opposite side. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my fingers just so that I don't get any of uh, my fingerprints on them. Okay. And this one, let's go in, let's go in with the orange. So I'm just going to go in with the two. Um, Craig, just as your, um, um, just using the inks there, Mary didn't join us from the start. She's just wondering, can you just uh, recap on the colours that you're using? I will do, no problem at all. So when I go back to this one, well, actually, it doesn't really matter, both that layer and this layer mm. combined. So the four that I've got are Lemon Tonic, Oasis, Crushed Velvet, and orange. Okay. So that's the four colours that I've used on that background there. Yeah. And then for this one, all that I've used is the oasis and then the orange. There you go, Mary. And then let's just blend that out. So we're just going to blend that one out. How many colours of pads are there, says Deb? So oh, 30... 30... I want to say, is it 36? Six, I want to say. 32 or 36? Yeah. So one, yeah, one or the other. One or the other. Just try to look at the side of me here. Yeah, me too. Hang on, there's a chart out there. So let's go in now. So we've got our two layers here. So I'm going to put my purple, I'm going to put my stencil 36. over the top. 36. Yeah. 36 ink pads. So yeah, that's 30. Well, so it's, it's 36 water reactive, it's 36 quick dry, but there's actually 37 of your pigment because you've now got the white the pigment. White, yes. Yeah. You've got the white one, which is so, so handy. Now with this one, I've just gone over with my dotty stencil. Now you, you might want to tape it down, you might want to use your temporary sprays. I'm not, I'm just holding it down with my hands and I'm just laying down that crushed velvet. So we're just gonna go in, hold that in, blend that one over the top and then we've got- Oh, that's brilliant. Polka dots. Isn't that so cool? How cute is that? Yeah, really, really cool. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same again, but I'm just going to go over kind of in top corner and bottom corner. And what I'm doing, even although I've gone in and I've blended some of the crushed velvet on the back there, because I'm going to go a little bit more heavy handed with the crushed velvet here, you will still see the polka dots through yeah. onto the backdrop of the crushed velvet. So just a little bit in the corner. And then when I lift that one up, you can mm, see how cool yeah. that. It's like little bubble wrap dots, isn't it? I keep thinking, I don't know why it keeps coming to my head, I keep thinking dinosaur eggs. Do you? I don't know why. Um, I, um, <laughs> I keep thinking of, his name's escaped me, Cody Rhodes' dad. Dusty Rhodes? Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. Yeah, I keep thinking of the wrestler Dusty Rhodes, with the polka dots. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, see where you've gone there. Mm -hmm. So that is my uh, two layers that we've got here. So what we can then do is I'm going to use my tacky glue. So let's use our tacky glue on the back. Okay. And then we can mat and layer this onto our purple linen cardstock. So let's bring in our next layer. And what I'm, what I'm not going to do just yet, Ben, is assemble all these onto my card blanks. I'm going to do all the individual elements first. Okay. And then we can sit and assemble them all at the end. Once again, going on, let's just add our tacky glue or whichever adhesive you use. It's so great to watch you do this. This is why I love craft alongs as well, because you might have looked at that background that you created there initially and gone, there's no way that I could create that. But it is all very achievable if you just take your time, isn't it? It really is. And that's what it's about. It is about the time. I know, you know, when, when we are live on here, a lot of the demos, we can sometimes speed through mm. them or we jump bits or that, but that's not what we do. 
uh, in uh, crafty life at home, do you know no. what I mean? That can take us quite a while. But then what we can do is let's go on to our embossing now. So I'm going to cut my cardstock. So this is our white multi-purpose that we're going to use. And we're going to cut this one to three and three quarters. So three and three quarters. And then we're going to go five and three quarters. Uh -huh. And then the reason I've gone for that specific size is what it does, Ben, is it makes it just a little bit smaller than the actual detail of the folder. So it means you're not going to get any harsh edges. You're going to get a complete flow of embossed detail. Yeah. So I can move all that out the way and move these bits out the way. So line that one up on your folder and then we can close that one. And then it is, of course, our 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to be using my base cutting plate, my magnetic shim, and then my frosted shim. Mm -hmm. We can then feed that one in. Of course, if you're going to be, maybe you're going to be using the MIDI. If you've got the MIDI, you don't need any shim whatsoever. Put the card in the folder and just yeah. run that one through. I've got two of those. You have, haven't you? Lucky monkey. <laughs> you lucky monkey. <laughs> you lucky monkey, yeah. <clears throat> and then we can go in now with our stencils. So with our stencils, you've got the sunrise at the top there, you know, of course, sunburst, you know, it could be uh, dawn, at dawn at the day, or, you know, it could be at night time. But then we've got the base here, which could then be another part of the sky, or it could be the grass, it could be sand, it could be whatever it is that you want it to be. And then you've got the clouds. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and then let's just get our stencil the right way. Now, when it comes to this one, I do like to use my low tack tape just to secure it at the top mm -hmm. and create a bit of a hinge. So I'm just making sure that that's all lined up and then taping that one down. And then what we can do is we can go in with our lemon tonic. So I'm just going to hold within that centre and then we can go over with the lemon tonic. And I'm not going to do any blending of additional colours. I want this to be a really strong a lemon tonic. Yeah. So we're going to keep it the colour that it is. A um, few comments I've seen and one that's just come through. Uh, loving your attire today. Um, Kelly Giambetro says, Craig, I love that colour of your yellow sweatshirt you have on today. It even matches your project. You've, um, is that one of your newer ones? Because I know you uh, splurged a bit recently. Didn't I you? did. Some new wardrobe items. I did. So yesterday I had a bright yellow jumper on yesterday. Yeah. And this one here, yeah, it's one of my, my new ones. So it's a pastel tone of yellow. And I thought we're going into Easter. Couldn't decide this one on my pastel lilac. But I thought, I don't know, there was just something about the pastel yellow going into Easter time. Mm. I thought, I'm going to put that one on, which I did. Yeah. No, it's very nice. It's very um, bright and breezy and uplifting. And you're, you're rocking those hoodies at the moment, aren't you? The hoodie and the jacket look. I, you, the amount of lovely compliments mm. I've had as of late with having uh, like a, br a bright hoodie on and then my dress jacket over the top. Yeah. And I, I, I think I've just found my style now when it comes to Crafters TV, Crafters TV Hobby Maker. Yeah. Because uh, it, it's, you guys are saying that, you know, you love it. And I, do you know something? I feel good in it as well. Yeah. Which is what it's all about. Looks so. good, feels good. That's the main thing. It is indeed. It's just it's a little bit too warm a day to have oh, yeah. the jacket on, hence why it came off. Betsy just said, uh, Betty rather, sorry Betty, said I used those stencils and put a cross in front for a gorgeous Easter morning. That would work very that would, nicely. That would work. Yes, Betty. That is, that's a really lovely idea. Mm. But jumping into the crushed velvet for the bottom now. Yep. And for this one, we're going for that sort of moody, just after the storm's been kind of look, because we will add a little bit of raindrops just shortly. Uh-huh. But for this one, we're just going to go straight in with the crushed velvet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and make this top part what will be a little bit darker than this bottom part. And then we can then start to blend that out together, so just at the bottom. Blend that one out. And then as we lift that one up, we're getting that really dramatic look. And then we can jump into our cloud stencils now. And for this one, what we're going to do, if we get them the right way, let's go in with the orange. So bring in the orange now. 
going with my blending tool. I'm just going to hold that one, line that one up. And the detail of the stencil lines in the actual embossed detail. So you sort of find it clicking into place a little bit? It is, yeah. It's like it just slots into place. Yeah. It's quite satisfying, in actual fact. But what I'm not going to do, Ben, is go too heavy-handed. Yeah. I'm going to keep the clouds quite light. And then, well, I say I'm going to go quite light. What I am going to do is go a little bit darker towards the bottom. Yeah. And then just adding that, and then I'm kind of like brushing upwards. So we've got Ooh, our clouds. Yes. And then we can do the same with this next one. And then what I am going to do, let's just take, let's just take something like that. I don't want, I don't trust myself to not get any ink up onto the top here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slot that in like before. And then I'm just going to tape it at the side here so it's not going to move. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of cardstock. Could Once again, it could be scrap cardstock, but just something to block that off so that if I do get any ink that transfer, it'll transfer onto there and not onto my actual sunrise or sunray. So let's again go in with the orange. In this one, I am going to go quite light. And then we're going to go in with the orange and then I think let's go in with the lemon tonic just along the top into here let's blend that out so you're going to get the yellow from the sunrise it's kind of as if it's just catching the top of the clouds mm -hmm. so if I remove that one out the way and remove that one out the way yes we get that really gorgeous look of the actual sunset, and again, it could be sunrise, it could be whatever it is that you want it to be at any time of the day. So then that gives us our actual detail, our embossed detail. So what we do need to do at the moment, so that was your oasis, no it wasn't, that was your orange, your lemon tonic, and then also your crushed velvet. So all that we'll do at this point before we take a little break is let's go in with our yellow and also our red cardstock from the Colour Your World. Yeah. So let's bring in the guillotine. And then for this layer, what we do want is we want the yellow to be a quarter of an inch bigger, so just a normal quarter of an inch matting layer. So of course that was three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So we're going to cut that to four inches by six inches. Then that's going to give me the perfect matting layer for that. Mm -hmm. Now for this one, I want it to be a really shallow matting layer. So what I tend to do is I still follow the quarter of an inch rule. So I'm going to cut that to four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Now if I line that up, you'll be able to see that gives me my perfect quarter of an inch matting layer. But of course, I don't want it to be quite thick. So what I'm then going to do is now, I'm just going to come down a couple of millimetres. Yeah. So I'll always cut to that quarter of an inch and then I'll trim away. So let's have a look and see. Quite happy with that. In actual fact, I want that just a little bit more shallower. So let's just take maybe about another millimetre or so off top and bottom to give me a really, really fine matte yes. layer, which I'm happy with that. Perfect. That will then go on into there. So I'll tell you what, let's just, let's just attach that just with our glue and then we can take our little break. Nice. So all that I'm gonna do is go in with my tacky glue onto the back here. So we're gonna put our design. So that cardstock that I cut and colored that into, that was three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then that yellow linen cardstock was four by six. And then the red was four and a quarter by six and a quarter. But then I came along and I just trimmed off. Maybe a, it was about three millimetres top and bottom to give you a really fine matting layer. And then we'll just put that one onto here. And then I shall do no more until you come back to me. And we'll do a few other little bits and then start to assemble it. Nice. So then there we go. There is that matting layer. So we can kind of see, if I bring this one 
back into play, we can kind of see where we're going with our image. Absolutely. I kind of feel as well with this um, craft along, we are um, going along at a nice pace and we're, gonna, we're not going to be rushed towards no. the end, which sometimes um, we are, which is nice. You'd almost rather finish a little bit early, wouldn't you, than be oh, like definitely. rushing towards the end. Yeah. You know. Um, looks lovely, Craig, says Mary Reno. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of the project so far and also do get in touch. Uh, and let us know if you are planning on crafting along, because uh, obviously this show will stay live on Facebook, stay live on YouTube. So if you love the idea of it, if you've already got the collection, you can come back and craft along at a time to suit you. If you haven't yet got the collection, here it is available for you with triple points today as well. Let's just not forget that, triple points. So even though you've got that saving of 15%, less your Club Inspire saving, which is 20% for the majority of you, 43.20, $55.20, you're still gonna times that by three uh, to tell you the points that you are going to get. So what about around about 130 points, around about 170 points if you're in the US, amazing. Um, Questions, yeah. seeing some coming in. We'll do them after the break, but this is a good opportunity to ask any questions you want and to get those baskets checked out too. Don't forget the cartload show tonight from six. Uh, the deals are there for you. There are some deals being added ahead of that show, but the majority of the deals are there right now. So do check them out. Do get shopping at prices as low as three pounds, can you believe? Uh, but get to the checkouts and we'll come back in about three or four minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert illustrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. <laughs> One that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was better than your arm and no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I'm a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Well, we 
Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Lots of love coming through for the uh, project. Thank you, Vanessa Fuentes, who says, lovely and so colorful. It's very Eastery, very Eastery. Um, not commenting, says Shadaya. Who you just have? Not commenting. Um, I was me only joking. Was mes mesmerised just watching Craig's great project. Very simple and clear. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Shania. Can I, can I just say it as well? Because, yes, I've gone for that, that slow kind of feel when it comes to this project. But it took me quite a wee while to just get, get my mind around, right, what we're going to do, how we're going to work it, where we're going to be blending. So I'm really glad that you loved it. Mm. Or you are loving it. Yeah. Uh, Kirsty D says, I'm going to have to do this later. If you do do them later, do do. Do do. Uh, if, oh, if... I got you. I got you. So childish. We do like to do do here. Ah, do do. Um, <laughs> if you do do this, oh, no. oh yeah, do do. <laughs> if you attempt this later on, do you feel free to tag us? Um, do do that. Tag us. <laughs> tag us in your doo doos. <laughs> tag us on Facebook or wherever you pop it or on Insta because we love to see what you've made. Do do that. Uh, and do Sarah do. Ibbotson says, I'm taking notes and we'll be making this craft along later this afternoon. Uh, I'm loving it so far, Craig. So bright and so cheerful. Uh, qu there was a question, I knew there was one. Philip Watson. Hello, Philip Sells. Could a rotary trimmer be used instead of a guillotine? Of course I could. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it does the same thing. With a guillotine and a rotary uh, trimmer, because I've got one, another branded one, of course, because we don't do a rotary trimmer. No. The only thing, what you can't do with a guillotine or rotary cutter is cut within the middle of your card. So, you know, like a V-blade paper trimmer, mm. you know how you can cut in like we do gut in, gut in your card stock? So, um, other than that, yeah, absolutely, you can use a rotary cutter. Does the... Um Violet Studios cutter, isn't it? They've got a V-blade paper trimmer, yeah. yeah. I love mine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think we're all up to date on the comments and and the questions. Uh, loving this set, says Yolanda. Sorry, someone just honked their horn outside. They're obviously loving your... Uh, Doo-doos. <laughs> obviously, that's what it is. Uh, right, let's get back to the craft along. What we do next, Mr. Craig? Righty, oh, so now we've got these elements all ready good to go. Let's go in with our die sets. We're going to go in for the look for rainbows. So let's take our rainbow. Let's take these clouds. So we're going to take the three of them. And then what we've also got is the little raindrops. So what I'm going to do for this one, let's, in actual fact, let's just go in. And I'm going to bring in the oasis. Now, for me, what I want is I'm going to die cut the raindrops, Ben, and yeah. then I'm going to colour them with the water reactive. Now, for me, it's so much easier to colour my cardstock and then die cut rather than try and colour each of these ones individually. Yeah. Now, it's not overly complicated you could just turn them upside down onto your ink pad once you've die cut them but do you know what it's just as easy going in uh, okay. add in the ink now this is just our multi-purpose cardstock um, is that what you do with the rainbow as well then no so the rainbow we're going to cut that out in white and then we're going to color it in using ah, our tri-blends nice one so that's what we're going to do with the rainbow so let's just go in with the clouds i'm just trying to um escape that little mark that I've got there. So the little raindrops we can go in. Let's bring in our low tack tape. So we can then just secure that one and then we can secure that one. Now we can secure this 
with our low tack tape. However, because it's water based, essentially it's still wet. So therefore, there's more of a chance that the low tack tape isn't going to stick to it. Yeah. But as long as it's going to grab long enough for you to run this one through. So we're going to go a base cutting plate, magnetic shim. Let's bring in our top plate and then we can then feed that one through the Gemini. Many of which will actually go through your mini as well, or if you've got the go, it's still going to go through the go. So we can take this one out. So if I move all of that out the way, so what we've then got is we've got all of our raindrops that are already now pre-coloured, so we don't need to worry about doing that individually. So let's take these ones out. So let's just drop that, there's that one, and then there's that one. And then what we can do is take the clouds. So we've got clouds, clouds, we've got the clouds, and then we've also got our rainbow. What I like about this die here with all of the teardrops is we've got, I don't need that one. Let's just cut this bit off. What you can also use it as is a stencil. So if I just roughly, I'm just kind of going off course just for a second. But if we bring that one in, Ben, then we can go in and use it as a stencil. Yeah. So we can go in, ink through, and then you can start to create okay. your own uh, stencil background using the rainfall. Yeah. So you can do it randomly, of course, or you can create little borders if you want to, or just go to town. It's a nice way to actually use it as well. So mm. you've got that option, should you wish. But let's go in now and let's take our cloud, still using the oasis, and all that I'm going to do is just lightly, I'm just going to touch around the edges. So let's go back in and then we're just going to touch upon, we're just going to work our way in, just creating that little bit of a hint of blue yeah. around the cloud. And it makes it stand out that little bit better. So if I put, so that is on my, so that is your multi-purpose card and that's just on Nina cardstock. Can't really see it. But if I bring that and look no, at the difference, yeah. yeah. So a big difference and it just adds that little bit of subtleness to it. You could use maybe like a anthracite or something like that when it comes to your water reactives, but keeping it in the actual color phase that it is, we're just going in with the Oasis. Brendan just asked, did I hear correctly, did Craig say he was going on a ghost, a ghost hunt? I am. Awesome, she says. I would love to do that. I am. The en en end of the month. He's off to Liverpool. I am indeed. The TV's most haunted team. Ooh. Are they filming it for TV? They won't be, fi they won't be filming it for TV. They'll, prob they'll be filming it and then if anything happens or that, then you know the, the chances are they'll probably pop it on their uh, YouTube platform, their website, their social media channels. So well, they find out you're going, I, get, I reckon they'll probably film it. TV's Craig Laird. <laughs> Hardly. Hardly. Gusti from Carnisti. I did, because um, I shared it on my Insta last night, and I shared it on my Crafters Companion Insta, and I, t I tagged a vet and that on it. Anything? So. No, nothing yet. I, I, um, I do that now and again, like when the whole um, Challenge Annika thing, and I was tagging Annika on a few bits and pieces, but nothing. Not the, the, only, the only success I've ever had with that was obviously with um, Graham Hall, the dog father. Mm -hmm. he, he got back in touch with me and he obviously had him on Crafters TV a couple of years ago. But nah, I suppose people like the you know, really famous people get tagged in so many different things. They probably That's don't even it. see your tweet or your Insta message, do they? No. Nah. No, not really. Really, the only two that ever have, both of them been chefs, one of them was um, the Irish chef, Cloda, which was on this morning, and Gordon Ramsay's wife, uh, oh, well, Tana Ramsay. Well, she got in touch with you? Yeah, you know, like, I'll reply to my Insta stories, because ah. like, I go through phases of using her cookbooks, because yeah. I like cause I, I like Gordon Ramsay, but it's just a little bit too like fine dining for me, whereas hers is very family and, you know, lovely pub food and that. So if I've ever gone and used a recipe book and tagged her in an Insta story of that, yeah, she'll occasionally reply. Oh, that's quite mm -hmm. sweet, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Really Has nice. Has Liv Morgan ever replied to you? Never. No. Never. Nope. I'm keep, going to keep trying. Keep trying. One day. Keep going. Until I go to do it one day and it's like, you can no longer. <laughs> yes. You have been blocked. <laughs> yeah, been blocked. <laughs> no, I'd say maybe one day, Johnny, that'll happen. Yeah. Mm. Try too much. 
So I've got our tri blend. So this one here being our dark red blend. So we're going to use our red. We're going to use our orange. We're going to use our gold yellow. We're going to use our light green. We're going to be using our iced blue. And then we'll also use two shades of the lavender. Yeah. So all that we're going to do within this one is, this one we will just take our time, Ben, because around each half circle of the rainbow, we're just going to color in. So I'm just going to go in with the dark red blend. What we're going to do is then go into that first, first bit. And then I'm just coloring the red up to that first line. So we're just going to go in and is it, colour. Is, is, it, is it like grooved then? I'm just going to see. So is, is, are you just following a groove? Or yeah, you... so there's a, a debossed groove. So I'm just coming up to the groove. Oh, uh, well, I see. So yeah, you can see, you can just kind of see the, with the, yeah. the shadow there, you can see you've so got you, the groove. You're getting into the groove then? Yeah, well, I'm not quite getting into I'm getting up to the groove. Get up to the groove. Yeah and uh, colouring all the way. Improve. And I'm not doing any blending or shading. I am quite literally going in with the lightest tone of that dark red blend and then colouring that one in. The other thing that you could do is die cut this rainbow out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in the different cardstock, yeah, colour cardstock. Yeah, that's card what I thought stock. you were going to do. And then fussy cut them out or follow the groove and then cut them out and then start to essentially paper piece over the top. So you could do it that way. So there is quite a few ways in which you can do it. But yeah, we're just going to follow the groove all the way round with that light tone of the dark red. Is there a song that you sing to remember which colour goes where? Um, I, the song that I used to sing, and that I'm sure a lot of people, it doesn't name them in the right orders though. The red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue. That's not I right, is it? Sing a rainbow. rainbow. Sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow to listen with your eyes. Oh, that one. Oh, there's listen a with verse. your eyes and sing everything you see. <laughs> I, can I can sing, sing a rainbow. rainbow. Sing, sing a, a rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> sing along with me. <laughs> mm. I just think of the kiddies TV show Rainbow. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we like that TV show. Yeah, I, I, I really like that show too, Craig. <laughs> that is brilliant. Have you never seen Rainbow, Charlotte? Zippy and George and Bungle? No. Well, no, 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 Rainbow started in the 70s, but I think it went on until the... Yeah. It went on into the early 90s. You must have seen that, Charlotte. Zippy. You must know Zippy. No? I, 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 I don't know what it was, but I, I, he had a zip for a mouth, uh, and when he talked too much, they zipped his mouth up. Uh, uh, there, uh, there was a hippo called George, who was pink. <laughs> and there was Bungle, wasn't there? Bungle. Bungle the bear. Bungle did talk. Bung, Bungle just sort of talked a bit like this, didn't he? The funny thing about Bungle was, in Rainbow, Bungle always used to walk around naked during the day. I mean, he was a bear, but then at night time, he'd put his pyjamas on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, that's, but that's like Donald Duck. He's, like, naked, but then you, he comes out of the shower and he puts a towel around him. Uh, that is very true, actually. That is very true. Will say Winnie the Pooh? Oh, yeah, Winnie the Pooh only ever wore a T-shirt, didn't he? He's got his what out, Charlotte? His bare bum. And his bare bum out. Oh, his bear, but ah, bear bum. That's really good. Oh, Corinne's um, singing the Rainbow Connection now here on the socials. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Come at the Frog, wasn't it? Rainbow Connection? Nope. No. You must know that song. No. That's like the, that's like the Muppet song, isn't it? That's like their big Rainbow Connection. No. Yeah, you Can't. search for that. Kermit the Frog on a banjo, sitting in his swamp, singing about the Rainbow Connection. Yeah, singing about the Rainbow Connection. I could only yeah. imagine what our search engine's like on our work computers. <laughs> <laughs> search it on your phone, Johnny. But it's, yeah, a very popular song. Willie Nelson did a cover of it, didn't he? Corinne, you know, well, you obviously know what I'm talking about because you, you quoted it. It's a great song, Rainbow Connection by Kermit the Frog. No, I can't say I've... 
I'll to, pay you. to be fair, you afterwards. I've not really, what, although I like the Muppets, I haven't really watched loads of Muppet shows or that. I've watched, of course, Muppets Christmas Carol, Muppets Treasure Island, Muppets Goes to Space. He sings it in, um, oh, what's the one with the Muppet talent show? But they, do, they do a talent show to save the theatre or something. Is that, uh, is that, oh, it's got... Re Muppets go to New York? Or not? No, it's, what, it's one of the recent ones. It's, it's with, with the, um, the little boy Muppet in it. Oh, it's the one that's got, I've got everything that I need right in front of me. That song. Can't think what that is. Life's a piece of cake. Someone Muppets go to space? Someone, no. Oh, someone help me out, please. It's one of the recent ones. It's not the one with... Or is it the one with Ricky Gervais in it? They do a talent, sh they do a talent show. They come back because they've not been like, around for ages. They come back and they, they do like a, they're trying to raise money to save their theatre. Is it just called The Muppet Movie? And he, Kermit the Frog sings Rainbow Connection in that on the stage, 2011. Is Ricky Gervais in that one? Anyway, whilst we've been chatting about The Muppets, Craig's coloured a rainbow. So each of these ones, the red, the orange, the yellow, the light green and the ice blue, that's the light tone from each of them. And then the two, two of them at the end, it's lavender. And I've used the light lavender on one and then I've gone in with the dark lavender at that base. And then that's created the rainbow. Yeah. So we've got a little colourful, bright rainbow. Now you could go over there with your uh, glitter sprays and that if you wanted to, but I'm not, we're going to leave it like that. And then what we do need to do is let's do our cardstock so that we can stamp our sentiment. So this one, I am using our Nina cardstock to stamp our sentiment, but you could do this easily on your multi-purpose if you've got any excess left. So what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to go in with my um, Nina cardstock and I'm going to cut this at two and a quarter, actually I'm not, I'm going to come in at one inch all the way down, so I'm just lining that up against the one inch. So I'm cutting my sentiment strip to the size that I want. You could of course have your cardstock bigger and then trim afterwards if you want to, but I want this to be a specific size. So I've gone in at one inch by one and a quarter. And then what I need to do is I need to then come in, what we've done with my cardstock. I need another piece of that purple. And I think I've got a little bit left, which I do. So this one, this one can be two and a half mm -hmm. by one and a quarter. And then that's going to be my matting layer for my sentiment. So if I bring that one in, that's going to be perfect. So again, that was one inch by two and a quarter. And then when it comes to my purple, that was one and a qu one and, sorry, the white layer, that was one inch by two and a quarter. And then my purple layer, my purple linen was one and a quarter by two and a half. So that gives me my layers. And then I just need to come in. Let's use our sentiments. So I'm going to use... I uh, hope your day is perfect, because that's what I used in the original one. You said there's no sentiments with this collection, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is from Dancing Dragonflies. OK. The stamp set that I'm using. But yeah, I, I, I do... It's, I think it's the first time that we have done a collection without sentiments. Yeah. And I find it quite refreshing, actually. I was going to say, you almost don't miss them, because, it, because it's such a vibrant and fun collection. You almost forget that there aren't any in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and like you say then, uh, then maybe you don't get stuck with using the same ones and you yeah. look elsewhere. Exactly, yeah. Start to bring in your own, or maybe you'll bring in your die-cut sentiments, or maybe you're just going to leave them without a sentiment. It's up to yourself. And it's kind of like carte blanche, isn't it, on what mm. you want to use. But going in with the layer that I've just cut, now this one. <laughs> this one. This stamp hasn't been used. So I can see straight away that the ink was sitting on the top. It was just like bubbling away, bubbling yeah. away. So what I'm going to do is let's go in with our translucent clear. So if you are relatively new to us or you're new to crafting, sometimes if you get a, a new stamp, when you go and stamp down, it's not like a pristine 
uh, flow of ink. Well, it's it's kind of like bubbly and bobbly. So what you need to do is what we call is prime it. So I've just taken our translucent clear ink pad. Alternatively, you can take your low tack tape and then just press that over the top, peel that off. That's going to take any of the residue material from your stamp off. Mm -hmm. The other thing is if you do have our stamp cleaner, you could give that a stamp and then uh, give that a wipe. But let's just go in. And you only need to do this once if you're doing it with your translucent clear ink pad. You're just giving it a coat in. So let's go back now in with my alcohol proof. So I can already see now that that ink is sitting just perfectly on my stamp. And then this is where I've cut it to the size that I want. If not, if you're not comfortable in stamping straight onto the size you want, so this is what I meant earlier by just stamp your sentiment on a larger piece of cardstock and then start to trim down or use a nest and die. And then once I've taken that one off, hope your day is perfect. So that's that one. And then what we literally, actually, what we literally need to do, I don't know if you want to take a little bit of a break now, Ben. Um, all that is is just to assemble it. So we can do that when we come back. Excellent stuff. Um, I'll tell you what, let's um, see how Tracy's getting on and then um, we will take a little bit of a break. I feel this is a very relaxed, laid back craft along. Nice, we're gonna get it done in plenty of time. Uh, hopefully, Tracy is uh, up to speed. How are you getting on, Tracy? How's it looking? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I've got my sentiment. My sentiment's a bit different to yours because I don't have the dragonfly stamp That's connection. okay. Yeah. So, um, but I'm all up to date. I've got my rainbow and everything. Lovely. What sentiment have you gone for? I have gone from that file. I got that file about two or three weeks ago. And it says, family is where the heart is. Ah. You know, you mentioned when we were chatting earlier on as well that um, you've only really been crafting for a while. Um, how did you find Crafters TV? Was it just surfing around or did someone tell you about us? Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think I followed Sarah from the uh, Dragon's Den. Oh, and yeah. And I found her because she was the crafting queen. I've always been very creative and I uh, studied architecture. So I've done a lot of, like, building and crafty bits all my life and then that, my mom's very arty and crafty and she's got a big shed full of uh, crafty bits so um yeah now and i mean a shed like it's not just a small shed it's 18 <laughs> by 12 foot wow oh shed. dear that is full of that is, crafty bits that's amazing and do you do you uh, have you crafted together the, the, the two of you do you get a chance to do that um, no, not necessarily together, um, but uh, I, I do something and then she's like, oh, I, I want to do that too. How did you do that? And then <laughs> yeah. I'll really explain it to her. And then oh, amazing. And you, yeah. and you mentioned earlier on as well that you, so you, do you teach a bit of, uh, you teach craft as well, do you, or art? No, I don't teach uh, crafting, but I teach Zentangle. So I'm wow. a certified Zentangle teacher. And I ran Tea and Tangle on a Tuesday. Um, uh, ten years ago that I was involved in a motorbike accident and it changed my whole life. So it was a life-changing injury. Oh. So I do live in a lot of pain and I spend a lot of time in bed. So Zentangle was my uh, main core. So I started teaching that, but then I needed something else because that was like more of a job mm -hmm. than more of a hobby. So I thought, well, I'm going to go into card making and that sort of stuff. And I found Crafters Telly and I've never looked back. I really haven't. It's oh. just been such a, um, it, 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 it's so hard to explain because it, it is such a lifeline, like the days that I, I, I'm in agony and on morphine, I can mm. just lie there and put you guys on and it just takes the edge off of it yeah. and the mind off 
a pain. So it um, really has been a lifeline. Oh, well, obviously, so sorry to hear about your, your injuries, but I mean, amazing to think that, you know, our little crafty community can help on those sort of dark days. And I know Craig would say the same because he's very open about the fact that, you know, you've obviously had your health issues, mm -hmm. but you, you find, found, as Tracy has found, that, you know, craft can help, and particularly on those days when, I mean, you've had down days, just to have a bit of craft to look absolutely. forward to or a bit of craft to do, it can almost sometimes help take your mind off it, can't it, a bit? Oh, uh, absolutely, yeah. Whether you're having down days, you know, whether it's mentally, you know, whether it's physically with the pain or that, whether there's just so much that's always, always going on, it always comes back, you know, you'll be the same trace to me and so many others, it goes back back to the health, but the crafting, it's just, it allows you, it's that escapism, it's that enjoyment, you know, it's, it's incredible, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, I'm sure Tracy would understand, but if you're in pain, it's incredible how just that, that creativeness, that just focusing on that bit of colour, that bit of die cutting, and it's, I'm not going to say it takes the pain away, of course it doesn't, however, it makes it more bearable, it makes mm. you, it's amazing how it can just get you through the day. Crafting it really is such a powerful thing, it really, really is, and you know, if it helps people, like it's, it's helped you, Trace, it's helped me, you know, it is such a wonderful, wonderful thing, it really is. Yeah. Oh, well, listen, Tracy, um, it's lovely to have you with us. Uh, we're so happy that you've got a smile on your face today and that, that you know, craft can put you in a, in a better place. And we are looking forward to seeing your finished project uh, in just a little while. So uh, we'll let you get back. I know we are going to take a short little break right now uh, to give you the chance to uh, get your baskets checked out. And then when we come back, we will uh, start putting that card together. So uh, if you have got items into your basket right now, remember triple points today, uh, head to the checkouts. And when we come back, we shall uh, finish up the card and also just uh, focus on some other deals that you might want to grab. We'll see you in about three or four minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, flip that? Yeah. So we'll do it. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day.
Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, Brea's misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetates, stencils, glue guns, and templates. Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG. Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi. Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends. Illustrators, classics and tri blends and color blends and glitter pens and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators and bellow box creators, stamping platforms, box of boards, the big score and scoreboard, Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card, craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats, guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice stamps, ink trays, mitre tools and binding tools and toe bugs, USBs, bone folders and punches, low tap tape and brushes, stamens, mailboard, flower form and foam. Alpine markers, DVDs, felt with triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft nice for fresh sparkle pots, centura pound and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more tools. What are Active ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away. Dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate pro and the rotating design board. Ultimate first compendium, Sarah signature collections, and don't forget discovery kits. Oh, and there's foam pads, think that's it. One final thing, foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, time's passed on. Uh, Tracy, I'm sure we'll read all of these later, but there's so many lovely comments coming through. Uh, just saying, uh, um, this is wonderful, says Alicia, just uh, chatting about what um, Tracy was telling us about. She says, this is why I love Crafters TV. Uh, Mary says, Tracy and Craig, you are both so right. Well said. Um, Tess says, this is one of the reasons I use crafting with my clients that are working on restoring their health. Uh, our Michelle's watching. Hello, Michelle. Uh, says, oh my goodness, what an amazing and inspirational person you are, Tracy. Uh, Maricel says, Tracy, I'm so glad that I got to hear your story. Um, and Christine says, um, thanks for sharing, Tracy. Um, Shaddai says, very touching story too, Tracy. Crafting is the best, bar none. It is your simple, quiet space, I find. That's Shadaya. Uh, and Emma Ryan says, Tracy, you are an inspiration. I am sending love uh, for your soul. That is from uh, lovely Emma. So thank you, everybody. I knew um, you guys would send lots of love to Tracy. Just goes to show what Tracy was talking about earlier on. What a great crafty family. Uh, we are so much um, love and uh, friendship within our group, which is brilliant. Right. We're into the home straight. I feel like we've just got a bit of assembling to do now with the project, haven't we, Craig? Um, so, mm -hmm. yeah, take us through it. Let's go for it then. Right, so let's go on to, tell you what, let's take our sentiment. Let's mat and layer that on first. And we're going to use our tacky glue for this one. Well, I am anyway. You can go for whichever one you so wish. So I'm just going to add my glue on to the back. And then what we can do, let's line that one up into place and then I'm going to now jump for now anyway over onto my red liner tape so I'm going to bring in what is going to be our front panel and then I'm going to add our red liner tape down the sides because we're going to add some ribbon um, you might want to use twine or anything else you might not even want to put any ribbon or twine that's up to yourself as as we keep saying within the craft alongs you know we give you all of the details all the info of the products that i've used for the card or any of us have and then it's up to you whether you do exactly what we do whether you want to then mix and match change it always entirely up to yourself so then all that I'm going to do is let's go in. Before we take the backing off, I'm going to go in with my ribbon. Now on the original one, yeah. I've got um, two. So if I bring in the finished one, you'll see that it's not the same one. It's a different one from what I used at home. You can see that I've done it twice. I'm actually just going to do it once on this one. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I'm, I'm changing it for this one, only doing it once, is because I've used two colours. So it kind of breaks the two of them up together. Oh, I see. But there's still, there's nothing, that would still equally look quite smart if you do two. Yeah. So it's 
personal preference. It's worth bearing in mind too that our Easter deal today is an adhesive bundle. So if you do need adhesives, the red liner tape is in there as well. Uh, we've got the six mil uh, red liner tape plus tape pens, foam pads, low tack tape. Uh, both are all purpose and tacky glues and two of the little fine tip glue applicators as well. So um, that is today's Easter deal. Um, I'll show you that perhaps in more detail in a bit, but um, 24 hour deal, great price um, on that on the web. Kind of all, all of your essentials in that little bundle there, Craig, it's a pretty much. Good set. Mm. It's a really, really good set. Um, certainly check that one out. And it's one of those we always need adhesive. Yeah. We always need adhesive. So uh, take advantage of the triple points. Absolutely. You know, if there's nothing over the next couple of days that takes your fancy, or, you know, there's probably always going to be something, but I know many of you out there have got so many of the Crafters Companion products. This is when you take advantage of the triple points with your yeah. adhesives, your card stocks, all of the essentials. That's what you're wanting to do. That's it. So on that base layer, I've gone in once again with my tacky glue. You can use your choice of adhesive. And then I'm going to go in with our emboss layer. Now for this one, I want some height. So I'm going to add some foam pads onto the back. We've just got, I've just gone to our uh, drawer of foam pads out in the prep room there. And I should have brought larger ones, but hey ho, these will do. So I'm just going to add my foam pads onto the back. Now, Although we've done that about an hour and 20 minutes ago, essentially it's still going to be wet. So what could happen is when I take the backing off, if I stick that on, it could just pop off within yeah. a couple of minutes. And that is because the adhesive of the foam pad's got nothing to cling onto because it's going onto a wet surface. And when I say wet, I don't mean that all that ink's going to transfer onto your hands. It's just the layer of the cardstock is still wet within that water reactive ink sitting on top. So two ways, if you are going to add height, two ways that you can combat that, either using your glue gel, or if you're like me and you still love your foam pads, what to do is just go in with a dot of tacky glue. Uh -huh. So it, lives, it literally has a very quick dot on each of them. And then what will happen is the foam pads will stick to that base layer and it will stick long enough for your tacky glue to grab and therefore your tacky glue will dry into the fibres of the red card and uh, sorry the tacky glue will dry into the uh, the foam of the foam pads and then into the layers fibre layers of what you have already pre-inked so let's then press that one in so that's that layer done and then for this one that we've gone in with our ribbon Let's just add our glue around the edges. And then that one can go, I'm just going to flatten that one out to make it a bit easier for me. That's going to then go into that front part and then we can press that one on. So let's go and let's tie a bow. So let's take our bone folder. If you find any dimensional cards, such as stepper cards or that, that don't, that don't sit, Right, what it just needs is it just needs to be uh, pressed a little bit more when it comes to your bone folder. So just go back and then let's take our ribbon. So let's go in, perfect time of the year here, being uh, going with the bunny ears. So let's go over the top. So creating two little loops or two little bunny ears and then crossing them over. And then this one here, tuck that one under and then we're just going to then pull from the side and then just going to hold with our finger and then we're just going to manipulate the tails of the bow, pulling until we've got them the length that we want and then twisting and turning. And then when you're happy with that, let's take our scissors, cut them at an angle or you can go in at little V's if you want to. Yeah. I always just do little angles. And then you've got your bow. Mm -hmm. So let's just shorten that a little bit more, tiny wee bit more there. So I'm just going to even them up. So that's our bow, so let's set that one to the side. And then let's go in with all of these little bits here just to finish off. So I'm going to go back in with the foam pads. Yeah. And then actually I'm going to go in with some of the smaller ones. 
Um, whilst you're sticking, um, Eve B says, so happy I got this set of stencils and I'm loving the card, Craig. Uh, don't forget, if you're late to the party, this show, of course, will stay live for you. Um, so you can come back and craft along at a time which is relevant to you. You buy the deal and craft along. Uh, and Jennifer Love says, hello, I'm coming back into the paper crafting world after a 10 year hiatus. and I'm loving all of the inspiration uh, and new to me techniques. I missed being a design team member for my previous companies, but my style has changed and I'm trying to find my new groove. Well, Jennifer, you've come up to the right place. Uh, plenty of different grooves for you to try it here. That is for sure. Uh, we love having you with us. Uh, and just a question from Daryl, uh, which is coming for you, Craig, says, um, are you still doing your lives, Craig? Um, I haven't seen one lately. I, I, I mean, you've been a busy boy, haven't you? But uh, are you still doing, not I, regular lives, but now and again you're doing them, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I will be. It's, I'm, I'm very grateful that life is very busy at the moment yeah. in, a, in a work way. Um, I have been doing more videos that I pop up onto either Facebook yeah. or my YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, you can still go and watch it. I, I am going to get back into the, squ the, the swing of lives. I, I really, really am. It's just getting into, uh, it's committing to a day each, each yeah. week or every two weeks. It's, uh, things, the thing is as well, things change uh, here occasionally, so sometimes That's they're it. needed. But uh, so no, I've, I've, I've not done one for a while. Um, I've not stopped for any reason. It's just to uh, get back into the swing of it again. But yeah, between my um, my Facebook and my Crafters Companion YouTube channel, yeah, you can um, see me doing videos and bits yeah. and pieces. He always puts a lot of content out, does our Craig? I do try anyway. Yeah. I do try. Try I like the little videos you do now. Like you say, not so much lives, but I like. Um like you did a little teaser video recently, didn't you, with one of the launches that we've got coming up next week? Oh, the week. paper pad, yeah. yeah. Is that, that's all done on, do you use Insta or TikTok to do those then? So, actually neither. Oh. I, I use that app, Slice. Oh, that I've got? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Slice. Use, I it's use app, that app. It's what I use for my uh, wrap-ups. Yeah, because if you do it on TikTok, not that it's a bad thing, because I do do things on TikTok. Do -do. But if you do it on TikTok, of course, it comes with your branded name on the bottom. Ah. So if you put that on Instagram, Instagram won't share it as much because it's got the TikTok logo on it. I've ah, got you. So, um, so having like un almost unwatermarked content, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So what I'll, what I'll do is, is I'll film it and what have you and I'll edit it in that app. Yeah. And then I'll send it to TikTok and then my TikTok page can have that version with my name on it. And then the one that I've also just edited, that can then go on my Instagram without any of the uh, my, my handle, name handle yeah. on it, and then I'll it just means what, it's further afield. I don't know how you do it, because obviously, I mean, I, I post on my Facebook and Insta, but then you've got YouTube and TikTok as well. I mean, core cool, blimey. I mean, that is a lot of, that is a lot of social media to be looking after. I, I love Insta, doing it. I do, but Insta and Facebook is enough for me, I think. Yeah. You, you don't do as much on TikTok, do you? Or do no, you? It's not as no. much on, on TikTok, no. I will I'll occasionally post bits and pieces onto my TikTok, but yeah, for, for me, I know they're saying TikTok is all, all the rage and that's where everything is and that, but for me, it, do you know something, it's about, what, it's about being seen. Yeah. And if I'm putting the time in, into doing it, it gets seen more on Instagram than it does on TikTok, so mm. that's where I'm going to post it all. That's it. But yeah. yeah. You can follow us all. We've all got our own socials. I'm sure you we all do. know by now. You can find us all on Facebook and Insta, our official pages. You just put the at. Um, well, you just put at. What do you call it? The at symbol. Yeah. And then our names followed by CC. Uh, yeah, we've all got, all got pages. All do various bits and pieces. More content on some pages than others. Mine, you can never get away from any of the no. content that I'm posting. Every morning, first thing I see, he's done something new. Yeah, first thing in the morning, last thing at night. I, la I laugh at um, our social team. They must be like, oh my God, here's Craig again. You know, they're, 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 they're probably just thinking, oh my God, what's he tagging us in now? Because obviously yeah. most stuff that I do, I'll tag uh, Crafters TV. Same, same yeah. Um, Crafters UK and then Crafters USA. What I've enjoyed recently is, um, and I, I sort of know how to do it, but I get offered to be like a collaborator on posts that mm -hmm. I'm in, but I haven't posted. And that, that um, then makes more people see your page, doesn't it, then you see? Yeah, it does. Well, it just means, you know, if 
crafter's companion, if they add you as a collaborator, then it just yeah. means that all everyone that's watching via their 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 yeah. account that likes it, you get the like as well. Oh, which is nice. And your page is seen. I um, I also like it as well when I um, I do my little weekly wrap up and uh, you know people who've got a few more thousand followers than I have then share it on their page, which is uh, great. Which is another reason I love working with Craig, because guarantee I'll always get some great content of our shows. <laughs> and then whenever he's in it, guarantee he'll always share it on his page. Of course I will. <laughs> My plan for world domination is almost complete. So that's why you're friends with me. You're oh, no, using no, no. me. I, re I really like you as a guy as well, You're Craig. using, Honest. You're using Honest. and abusing my social media numbers. <laughs> Damn it. He's no, worked I, me out. I don't mind at all. <laughs> I think me and you are pretty good, aren't we, with social generally, and you know we share we share our uh, crafty bits and pieces, every yeah. socially bit. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice yeah. as well just to give everyone a heads up. Like yeah. the couple that I done yesterday, it gives you a tease as to what myself and Ben are launching on Tuesday. Yes, going to be a fun day to come back to. Oh, you done, indeed. Mister? There we go. So let me just go in once again. So I've gone in with glue gel for the bow. I'm just going to flatten that one. But what I'm going to do is let's go off because it just slides onto my glass mat. But then there we go. We've got our uh, fun little card there. So I just added all of these little embellishment die cuts on with some foam pads. The little teardrops, I just went in with tacky glue. And for that bow, I just went in with our uh, glue gel. So a nice little dimensional card. Maybe make an envelope box or a tiny little box. It's up to yourself. But then you've got that front stepper card. Um, I really love that, actually. Absolutely fantastic. I tell you what, that is a good shout, you know. We did. Um, so I, so I done do this one. So I done that one in wake up call. Yeah. I tell you what then. So um, I'll go through everything in the bundle uh, whilst we have a vote, and then we'll have a quick chat with Tracy in just a couple of minutes. So quick vote on your, your card of the day. This will be because be, it's cart low. We won't have any demos. So Craig, just take us through the two there. There we go. So you can see I've very much been in a stepper style mood as of late. So number one that we've done within Wake Up Call, so you can see it's more of a forward stepper. So that's number one. And then number two that we've just done there in the craft along, not as far, far out that you can see on the front there. It's just sliding because it's on the glass mat there. That's number two. So number one or number two for demo of the day. All right, you've got about uh, two or three minutes to get your vote in there. Let me just remind you, um, we, of course, will have the show available for you on Facebook, on YouTube for as, uh, what, for as long as uh, you want it, basically. Uh, so if you haven't yet got the uh, collection today, you can pick this up and then you can come back and watch the show when your goodies arrive and look at everything you get in this bumper collection. You're saving 15%. Um, and then, of course, you've got your Club Inspire discount on top of that. So £43.20, $55.20 platinum. And today, triple points, Woo! which is incredible. Uh, so you're getting loads and loads of points towards your Club Inspire total. But lovely, lovely uh, dies in there. You've got all of these stamps that you can be working with, too. Again, with the rainbow, the little raindrops in the cloud. Love the little um, girl there under the umbrella. Super cute stamp, that. Then you've got your beautiful butterfly kaleidoscopes. That's called a pretty kaleidoscope. With the two dies allowing you to create that little bit of uh, depth and dimension and that 3D-ness. That embossing folder is stunning with all of those rainbow hearts. Once again, on the Shop the Show page, you will find a um, sort of hand-picked selection of colours of our water active ink pads if you want to go for those which will work perfectly with this collection. That one is called the Rainbow Hearts embossing folder. You've got some gorgeous stencils of differing sizes, that amazing butterfly. You've got a stunning heart stencil in there too. Um, and then this is the um, embossing folder uh, and stencil set that Craig was using to pop together the card that you've just seen him make within the craft along. Then you've got that beautiful die, that creator card die. It is your floral rainbow. Again, cut straight into your cardstock, cut it as a panel. Beautiful. If you love paper piecing, love colouring, that will be right up your street. And then you've got those two bigger stencils included in the bundle as well. So there's beautiful bubbles. And then lastly is the beautiful balloons. It's a lot of crafty goodies for your money there. 43.20. 5520 uh, oh, and triple oh hello and triple point for you too uh, let us for the final time um, head back to the lovely Tracy who I know has been crafting away and I think I think she has done and dusted are you finished Tracy yes I am oh finished. wow 
What do you reckon, Craig? That is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love, look at that, look at the blending, look at the layers, I love that sentiment choice that you've used as well, Tracy. That is fantastic, oh my God, see when you see things like that after that you've done a craft along and you spent time working out what you're going to do, that means the absolute world. I absolutely love that. Um, have you Thank enjoyed you. the whole I experience, Tracy? I have sent the picture into uh, the studio as well. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, we should definitely share that again later. It looks like you have, and I think you have. Have you uh, really enjoyed the craft along? Yes, I have loved every minute of it. Thank you so much. Thank Aww. you, Craig. You are more than welcome. It's an absolute pleasure. It's lovely seeing you. It's lovely having you part on that craft along. And you take care of yourself and look after yourself. And we're all here. Any crafty questions or that you need any help with or that, either in the studio or on social media, just ask away. Yeah, I will do. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Craig and the team. Oh, thank you. And make sure, Tracy, uh, whenever you like, uh, make sure you come back and do another one with us, won't you? Because we'd love to see you uh, and also Heidi uh, the Cat again. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Oh, absolutely fantastic. What a wonderful, so wonderful guest, wasn't she? Wasn't yeah, she great? really What lovely. a great project. What a great project. Really, really is. And it goes to show as well how, you know, Tracy has formed our card and project along the same line as mine, but then simply changing the sentiment. Mm. You know, and it could be because she didn't have the one I had, or it just could be that you wanted something else or you wanted to change the colour. Of course, she could do that, but I absolutely love seeing what Tracy done. Demo of the day. Oh, a landslide. What? No, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> well done. Uh, that will go up onto the Crafty Walk of Fame and you could be voting for it as your favourite on Sunday. Second chance Sunday. Right, we're going to come back a couple of hours' time. We have got, yeah, it is a crazy cartload, Johnny. Crazy You're right. cartload. Crazy cartload. We've got a crazy cartload. <laughs> With a crazy cart, uh, 33 crazily priced items in that cart if they're all still available. We've got three pound deals, buy one, get three free deals. We've got triple discount deals and we've got 33 minute deals, deals that will go live in that show that will only be available for 33 minutes. See what we're doing here, bit of a theme. And don't forget, keeping in the theme of threes, triple points on everything. You can shop the show right now. There will be about three or four extra deals added just before the show. So that's all that you're missing out on. You can get shopping the rest of the uh, show right now now to take advantage of those deals it's going to be crazy it's me and him in a sales type show for two hours it's going to be absolutely mayhem uh, but we are looking forward to it massive thank you to you all for your beautiful comments massive thank you to tracy who was just brilliant and tracy uh, make sure you check out all of the comments which are coming through for you because there are many uh, and also uh, massive thanks to the team we'll see you in a couple of hours for that crazy cartload until then bye for now toodles <laughs>